Mayday Parade, slot 540. And I really liked them. They were really good. The color Fred was on right at the same time Say Anything came on. Whose idea was that? Uh, there were not even a lot of people watching the color Fred. I hate to see you go, but I because I guess everybody was over waiting for Say Anything to come on. Okay, the color of Fred was like 20 people, and they were doing so good. I could, I have, I had to watch Say Anything, so I had to tear myself away from the color of Fred, which was really difficult. I really liked the color of Fred, so it was really hard, but I did it, and I'm gonna watch Say Anything. <laughs> Who are amazing. I almost wish I would have stayed and watched The Color Fred just because there weren't as many people watching and it would have been a more intimate show because everybody was watching Say Anything. The Say Anything was really good too. After that, uh, from first to last came on. <laughs> And, you know, they don't have Sunny Moore anymore, so it's kind of weird listening to them without Sunny Moore. And they did some of their old stuff, and it was okay, but it sounded like they were covering their own songs. It was alright. I really liked from first to last first album. I didn't like their second, and I'm definitely not checking out their third. You know, they did put on a good show at least. After from first to last came on, Angels and Airwaves. <laughs> They were good, but to me, all Angel and Airwave stuff sounds like the same, so I couldn't really tell the difference between the songs. They did play The Adventure, which everyone freaked out about their last song. They were good, though. Tom DeLonge is a really, a really strange dancer. And I had to explain to my friend that Yes, that's the guy from Blink-182, and yes, Blink-182 is split up. You know, Tom DeLonge started Angels and Airwaves, and the drummer started Plus 44. And while Angels and Airwaves was on, my friend Sarah, she spied Katy Perry off to the side, you know, behind the fence, where the fans could get to her. And I'm pretty sure Sarah was paying more attention to Katy Perry than Angels and Airwaves. And then the last band was Gym Class Heroes. Again, not a big fan of them, but we stayed the whole day. I mean, we paid 40 bucks. We're going to stay the whole day. And they're the last band, so we watched them. And, yeah, they were good. I mean, I, I just really, not my kind of music, but they sounded good. We left. We walked outside, and Will and Tyler, who we did not hang out with at all the whole time we were there, were waiting for us at the car. We drove home, stopped at Subway on our way there. A Subway that had no food left over. Got a turkey sub. It was delicious. We got home, and I drove Sarah home. And on my way back from Sarah's house, a car sideswiped me, but at least they stopped. And there was no real damage, so it's all good. But yeah, it was an amazing day. Best day of my summer. Between the trees. I looked for them all day, and then I got home, and I saw this bulletin that said, Oh, we're not playing on Sunday. What? I looked for them the whole day. Oh, I was so mad. I got one of their posters, at least. Uh, Warp Tour Guide from Alternative Press. After Midnight Project. I didn't really check them out because um, Jack's Mannequin was playing at the same time as them, and Jack's Mannequin is like here, and After Midnight Project is like down here. But, I did grab one of their posters at least. Of course, I got the uh, compilation disc 
Five dollars for fifty tracks. I get it every year. So had to get that. This poster for my friend Chris. Under oath on the back, but you can't really read that. And Norma Jean. Chris had to work at the museum, so he couldn't come, but I got him a poster at least. I also got all these stickers to go on my book that has all my super cool writing in it. I love stickers. Yeah, that's it. Fun times, let me tell you.